morning it is Tuesday April 11th yeah that's correct uh, day 11 on the trail we just uh, descended off of uh, Trey Mountain which is way back there behind me we've been going about 45 minutes or so probably dropped about five six hundred feet now we're just walking down this uh, a slight uh, decline of a ridge line uh, turn around here and give you a view of behind me it's already pretty warm out this morning hazy yesterday I mentioned that uh, there was three older gentlemen they had lost one in their party we hadn't left camp 30 minutes and uh, stopped and talked to a gentleman he's like Did y'all stay at the shelter we're like yes sir he goes, y'all see two older gentlemen? we are like, they're looking for you, and they're right behind us. They actually left camp a little bit before us, and then we passed them coming down the uh, steep uh, decline. And uh, so he was happy to hear that, so he was going to sit there and wait for him. He had stealth camp off the trail somewhere. He said he was just hiking along and had his head down, never saw the sign, uh, and just missed the... Uh, turn for the shelter and like I said it was steep going down so he he didn't want to hike back up so he found somewhere to camp overnight and took care of business but I uh, guess that's sort of a lesson learned you gotta look up every once in a while know where you're at know what you're looking for you know coming off Trey Mountain at the summit Shelter's on the other side. I mean, he was hiking northbound, so once he hit that summit, he should have been looking for that uh, trail. But he's safe. That's what's important. But you learn from others' mistakes and just something to file in the back of your head. Be aware of where you're at on the trail, especially if you're trying to get off trail to go to a shelter or a water source or, you know, down to a... Uh, a uh, parking lot or something to get picked up but we got 11.2 miles to go today to Dick's Creek Gap uh, Michelle and Ashley uh, will hopefully be there when we get there I got a feeling we're probably gonna beat them they're not leaving Atlanta till 1 30 Michelle's got a luncheon with some girlfriends Ashley's gonna uh, get through I think five of her six periods and then she can miss her last one and then they'll be heading up here. It's about a two-hour, 15-minute drive without traffic. So hopefully they'll be in, in front of the traffic today. But looking forward to that. Looking forward to some real food tonight. Definitely a hot shower and soft bed. And definitely seeing Michelle and Ashley. Grunt and uh, Tent Man are up ahead about 50 yards. Uh, tent Man's getting off the trail today. He's got some stuff to go back home and take care of, and I think he's gonna try to hook up with Grunt when Grunt gets up towards the uh, Smokies. So that'll be nice. Talk to Michelle tonight, figure out where I'm gonna get off at. Most likely it'll be Winding Stair, which is Franklin. I had wanted to try to make it all the way to Fontana, but I'll talk to Michelle and we'll, we'll work it out and see what uh, we can do. But uh, she's more important, so if she needs me, she needs me. And I'll be back home. My number one goal is to get through Georgia. And we'll be in North Carolina tomorrow. So that goal is 95% accomplished. So that's uh, it's amazing that I've hiked almost uh, 78 miles in a matter of 12, 13 days. Uh, and that's with two days at home for the uh, severe weather last week so it's pretty cool pack is uh, a lot lighter this morning i'm down to uh two dinners and uh three lunches uh very few snacks uh, we've got a lot of water sources on the trail today so i'm only carrying about 1.5 liters of water 
and that's about three pounds so i'm probably sitting around 26 27 pounds on my back and it feels good feet are good uh, knees are good um, over the last 10 days i probably rolled my ankle uh, or both ankles i don't know three times each i would say probably maybe the left side maybe four two um luckily all the uh, prep and all the hiking that michelle and i've been doing over the uh, last six months paid off got those ligaments strength and tight and so you know it's sore there for a second when you roll it but walk it out and i've been fine i didn't take uh, any motrin last night or uh, this morning so that's good legs like i said legs feel good it's just the cardio the cardio is what gets you out here and going up these hills you know i'll tell you I, my cardio is terrible so it a little slower going up the hills but you know the legs legs are there for me so that's nice but i want y'all to thanks for watching if y'all have any comments how i can improve these or shorten them lengthen them things you like me to talk about let me know in the comment section but y'all have a great tuesday and we'll show you some sights today i know when we get up to powell mountain there's a vista overlooking lake burton it'll be nice and uh there's one uh, on the way up uh uh kelly knob kelly knob's another 4,000 foot mountain in georgia so that'll be i've done that one so that'll be nice to see that one again take care so I'll talk to you soon hey guys just letting you see this uh, view we've got right here. We're on our way up uh, Kelly Knob. Uh, it's a 4,000 footer in Georgia. Uh, way back there is where we started our day at Trey Mountain. That's Rocky Mountain. We came over the day, uh, yesterday also. And that must be Blue Mountain there where we were the night before. So I'm not sure about Blue. I'll have to uh, look and let you know when I process the uh, the video. Uh, tent man's down the trail there. Grunt, calf's kind of hurting so he's pulling up the rear. We're going slow for him. Leave no one behind. So it's uh, 12 15. We're almost on top of Kelly. And then it's uh, down into the uh, gap for uh, the shelter deep gap then up Powell Mountain and then we're into the tunnel and down into uh, Dix Creek Gap I think that's what we got left starting to get uh, a little uh, stratus clouds up there uh, still kind of hazy but it's still uh, pretty out here uh, pardon my uh, heavy breathing but like I've said in the previous videos my cardio Woo, it needs some work. All right, guys, heading north, heading to the top. Hey, guys, on top of Mount Powell, there's a campsite on a side trail, and then below the campsite is this vista looking out over Lake Burton. Kind of hazy, but still beautiful. Uh, we're almost done for the day. Um, we'll be descending into uh, Dix Creek Gap starting uh, now. I have one little bump to go up down towards the um, gap, but it's not big at all. Oh, it's been a long day. I think we're sitting at nine and a half miles, something like that. We got like 11.2, so not much more to go. We'll talk to you when we get into the gap. Guys, just an update coming off Mount Powell, finally. Walking through this uh, Mount Laurel and Rodendron tunnel. Got Grunt back there. He's nursing a uh, tight calf, so uh, he's limping into the finish line like a good Marine. Sure. <laughs> but with this, with this Mount Laurel here, and you can see the tunnel ahead, oh, temperature's probably down 10, 12 degrees probably. It is nice walking through here. Just talked to the girls. They're about an hour and a half out, minus any uh, pit stops along the way so that we timed it pretty well on that uh it's been a heck of a hike again today you know i had a couple good uh ups and then you know you got you always have four or five moderates 
they call them puds pointless ups and downs is what puds stands for can't wait to see uh missy and ashley i'm sure we'll have a good dinner tonight it will be a feast sleep in a warm bed hot shower get this pack off our backs maybe have two or three brewskis i'm gonna uh, turn it around and let you see this tunnel so this is what we're walking through oh the shade feels so good Just heading down into Dick's Creek Gap. I did this hike, this portion right here, oh no, three, four weeks ago with the GATC. Uh, it was a day hike that I did with them. It was nice. We started at Addis Gap, not all the way back at uh, Unicoi or Trey, that area, Unicoi Gap, correct. But, uh, day is almost over I'm guessing a mile and a half maybe uh, we're just taking it easy going downhill you know for it to me the downhills are a little bit worse than the uphills just because you know you're dropping all, all the weight on that your knees left and right I try not to favor any particular knee just take it slow but glad you're uh, watching the video thanks very much I hope uh, you find one or two uh, things interesting out of this. I try to keep them uh, informative, show you the sights. But uh, like I said, just walking through this tunnel with the shade, oh, world of difference. All right, guys. Hopefully, the next picture you see will be my beautiful wife and beautiful daughter. Talk to you later. Hey, guys. We got about a quarter mile left to go uh, to get to uh, Dick's Creek Gap. Oh, this has been a brutal descent off of Mount Powell. Oh my gosh, my feet are sore, my knees are sore, and I'm just taking baby steps until I get on flat ground. I'm looking down at, I don't know, 30 degree angle. Oh, this is crazy down and down and down there's steps I think that's bear tent man down there oh. got a little creek down here with a bench and you got a little therapeutic waterfall I'm gonna sit down here on this bench and look at that waterfall for about 15 seconds oh my gosh keep going i'm right behind you grunt that was grunt that just passed up the trail oh that's pretty nice right here all right guys next site you see is going to be two beautiful women here we go let's move on all right guys there is the site for sore eyes uh, i see a road now let's see if we can spy a black f-150 uh, i may have beat him who knows Nope, I don't think they're here yet. That's okay. I can sit down, drink some water, and wait for them to get here. Oh. I see Tip Man. Oh my gosh, my knees, my legs. Why are you in the sun, brother? I just dropped where I dropped. <laughs> oh, let's go up here, man. 
Get out of the sun. Go up here and pick up one of these picnic tables. Ah. Nice little area up here. All right, we'll talk to you a bit. God love me. There's our ride, people. That's a damn nice truck. That is a nice truck. Ah. There's our people. Uh, we'll, we'll pile in the